No. Hi. How's everything going? Uh, yeah, well, I, I put a pacifier right in his mouth, and he went to sleep. And I was humming for a while, too. Well, you hummed? Yeah, I, I themed to Star Wars. Good. He's awake now, though. Hey. Have you have you held him at all, or? No, no I, at, at the time, I just thought that would make it make it worse. You think he needs his uh, diaper changed, or? Spoken like a man who wants somebody else to take over for a while. Well. It's fine. Just relax. Thank you. I'll get him freshened up. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm Carly. Oh. I know. It's strange. A strange place with strange voices and strange people. Stranger than life with Julia? Imagine that. Would you give me a diaper, please? Yeah. What are we doing on the supplies over there? Well, I think we got enough to make it through the night. Well, we're gonna need more diapers, we're gonna need formula, we're gonna need wipes. I know, I know. I'll, I'll make a run to the store if you want me to. No, no, you can do it in the morning. It's fine. Well, at least I'm not a... This is not a crier, huh? <laughs> but you know what? I bet he is gonna get hungry, so why don't you go into the kitchen? And get a bottle out of the fridge, okay? All right, I should warm it, right? Yeah, but just, uh, just run it under the hot water of the faucet. Don't use the microwave, okay? Okay, Well, oh, yeah. That's better. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do the bottle, okay? Why don't you just... No, no. Just hold it's, him, it's no big and deal, I'll go Carly, and do I'll it. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll Duh, hot I said water, I would right? do it. No, no, so I'll, I said... Baby, I'll I'll do it. I love you for it, but stop. Stop acting like this is normal. Changing diapers, running to the store. Nothing about this baby feels right, Carly. Nothing. Thank you very much, officer. You have been extremely kind. I really have to admire both the boys and the girls in blue detective views. They do a wonderful job. You have been a very busy lady, Julia. Thank you for noticing. As my grandmother used to say, idle hands really are the devil's playground. Or was that idle minds? <laughs> I spoke to Judge Peterson. Your arraignment is scheduled in about an hour. So when can I get out on bail? You expect bail? Of course. Based on what? Margo, I come from a very respectable Philadelphia mainline family. Uh, the way I see it, you've got two choices, Julia. Either a trip back to the hospital for the criminally insane or a long haul at the state pen. Either way, you're looking at close to 40 years. Boy, I hope my judge has a little more empathy for the mentally ill than you do. I don't care why you went over the edge. I don't care about your hard-hearted mother, and I don't care about your rotten childhood. I had a wonderful childhood. My very own pony. I don't care if you dance with little green men, talk to the Easter Bunny, and I could give a rat's rump about your little psychotic split that makes the San Andreas Fault look like a crack in the sidewalk. You are going to be put away. Don't try to intimidate me, Margo. I have battled far too many demons to let some small-town flatfoot shake my confidence. Is that so? It most certainly is. Who are you? Dr. Cy Weisskopf, Miss Lindsay's personal psychiatrist. And your posse? Her legal counsel, Hyde, Davenport, Prescott, and Ross. You made a grave error, Detective. Julia Lindsay does not belong behind bars any more than you do. How's he doing? Good. Better. Look, I'm sorry about before. I didn't mean to take it out on you. It's okay. Thanks for pitching in. No problem. Yeah, right. No problem. Weren't we supposed to be on our way to paradise by now? Paradise can wait. First thing we have to do is get a DNA test on this little guy. Now I'm one step ahead of you there. I called John from, from the bedroom. He said he'd make the arrangements. Great. And you know, the voice in my head keeps telling me that no test could possibly say that you're the father. But... But what? We are dealing with Julia here. Could she have found some angle that we don't know about? You know that she is just whacked enough to pull how, something how, off. How, how, Carly? The timing doesn't add up. What if he was a preemie? You, what, that's awful convenient. 
On the other hand, if if he's not mine, then how did she get her hands on a baby? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's wait and see what the lab work shows. And in the meantime, in the meantime, it's well, it's us or social services. Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't know. Well, it's not my decision to make, Jack. Well, having another person in this house, Carly, especially this person, it it affects all of us. You, me, Parker. How long till the DNA comes back? Yeah, it could be a while. That's what I was afraid of. You know, there's something about babies, Jack. The way they smell, the way their breath feels on your neck. You kind of get used to having them around. Don't, don't go falling in love, Carla. Cops have to deal with this thing all the time. Oh, no, they don't, Jack. Most cops do not have to deal with their psychotic ex-wives showing up and crashing their weddings. All I'm saying is, is that it's going to be harder and harder for you to keep your distance. If this baby stays here the whole time while we're waiting for those results, it's going to be pretty tough for you to treat him like a... like a bag of evidence. Yeah, maybe it will. Having him here doesn't feel right, but... putting him in the arms of strangers feels worse. Okay, so for now, I guess he stays here. Poor guy. You know, he's just as much Julia's victim as you are. Well, please, let's not go there, all right? Hey. I think we should. I think we have to talk about it. Why, we, why do we have to talk about it? It's not going to change anything. If this baby is yours, He's Jack, not, Carly. But if he yeah, is... I, I would know how it would have been conceived, Carly. I was there. I'm sorry. I just... Maybe that's what Julia wants. Maybe this baby is her way of making sure that you never forget. Maybe it is. There still is a question I've got to ask. If by some slim chance this baby is mine, you sure you can live with that? Well, I think the real question, Jack, is can you?